Hey guys, what's up? It's Haley. Welcome back to my channel and finally, welcome to Aaliyah's nursery! The amount of questions I've been getting from you guys wanting to see what her nursery is looking like. Throughout this entire video, I'm going to show you little corners of the nursery as well as talk to you guys about all my newborn must-haves and essentials. So whether you're pregnant, already a mom, or you know a mom in your family, I definitely suggest you guys watch this video so you guys can get some ideas on either what you can gift an upcoming mom or get for yourself. And I'm really going to cover everything because I feel like when I was looking for this kind of stuff, there were so many basics that people didn't talk about. Like, what kind of clothes do you get for a newborn? If you're going with formula, what formula products are actual things you need? Where's the best place for a baby to sleep? What's the best way for a baby to sleep? And whatever other tips and tricks Evan and I picked up along the way. So I'm so excited to get into it. And with that being said, let's get into all my newborn must-haves for 2021. Alright, so here's a category that many people did not talk about. It's clothes. The best thing are little sleepers. Little sleepers are pretty much just onesies that have the feet included, the arms included, and the ones with the zipper are absolutely the best. They are the easiest because you could just take them on and off so easily, especially in the nighttime when you're all drowsy, you gotta do a diaper change. Working with like those little snap closures can be so annoying. Like look at the difference between these two little sleepers. This one has buttons from the feet on both sides going all the way up, while this one just has a zipper. This is so much easier and I highly recommend getting these zipper onesies and under the sleeper I always make sure to have a little t-shirt onesie so a t-shirt onesie and a zipper sleeper that's the best combination that we found because the typical rule is you look at yourself and you add one layer so if you're only wearing a t-shirt you got to put a t-shirt and one more layer on your baby mittens too super important especially in the beginning uh, Leah was like scratching herself a ton and mittens is the only thing that kept her from doing that you guys Aaliyah's up from her nap and Ellen is bringing her in hi my love hello you want to say hi to everybody What's up, everyone? <laughs> Little baby Aaliyah has literally been the happiest bub. Especially lately, she's always been in a good mood. She's been giving us a lot of little smiles, right? <laughs> So everything related to baby sleep because when your baby has a good sleep that means you have a good sleep and then that makes you a really happy mom. So the first thing I felt was super important was a baby swaddle. As many of you guys know they usually just swaddle babies with a little receiving blanket in the hospital and that's actually something I've been using from the beginning. My mom taught me how to do like the actual swaddle from these little blankets. Since newborns don't tend to move so much these swaddles ended up working amazing but definitely as she was getting older I felt like it was very hard to keep her in the little swaddle because she was literally like Houdini getting out of everything. Since she was about six weeks old we we were using the Halo Swaddle, the Safe Dreams one. I posted an Instagram story taking her out of this and everybody asked me where the swaddle was from. And basically the way that it works is it has a bodysuit at the front that has a zipper. So you just put that on with your arm slid under. So you just take the left side, bring it right over, and then you take the right side and Velcro it right on top. For people that don't have all the swaddling skills, this is definitely a lifesaver. It keeps her in there and it makes it so much easier to pop it on and off, especially when you're going through diaper changes at night. Next thing that was such an essential for us is a noise machine. If you've watched our previous vlogs you've definitely heard this infamous sound. Aaliyah loves the little heartbeat sound on the noise machine. So whenever a baby sleeps to sound, especially paired with a swaddle, it really just replicates her conditions and environment inside mommy's belly. This is the dream egg and I love it so much. This is the one that we just keep in our bedroom. I love it that you have an option to just keep it on the entire night. You also have an option to have it turn off after 30 minutes, 60 minutes, or 90 minutes. If your baby just needs help going to sleep but she doesn't need it the entire night, it's a really great option too because you don't have to get up and turn it off yourself. And by the way, I'm going to be linking everything down below if it's not obvious. And I'm gonna try to hunt down the best prices for you guys to get these items so you can make sure to save a buck wherever you can And that brings me to what she actually sleeps in these typical bassinets like those will all do But when it comes to the bedroom I definitely suggest getting one that you can plop right next to your bed So a bedside bassinet like the close to me sleeper is actually one that we have and it's really great Because you can literally tuck the legs right under and bring it right next to you so that baby can be close to mom Whether you're breastfeeding or you're not having the baby right next to you is so much better for yourself Because if she's fussy or crying you don't have to physically get yourself up from bed and go check on her you can really just peer to the side make sure that she's okay or if you want to go ahead and nurse her you just pick her up and put her right next to you so a bedside sleeper is definitely one I would recommend to have in your bedroom especially in the first few months versus downstairs I don't have like an official bassinet but I do have the snuggle me organic pillow she absolutely loves this thing it's a little newborn pillow that you plop her right in and it really just hugs her from all angles the docotod is also one that was really popular I personally didn't try it so I can't tell you how much she liked it but she does really love the snuggle me plus it's really
really easy to wash you can just take off the cover throw it in the laundry and like you're done with that cleanup I know a lot of people do not recommend that babies sleep in the snuggle me but I would say if you're next to your baby and you're literally like with her I think it's okay if she takes like a quick nap especially if she's swaddled as for the actual crib as you guys can see that is the one that we ended up going with it's basically an all-white crib it has some nice wooden legs I absolutely love the way that this crib looks it's like such a nice strong build and it's actually from the brand baby and me nursery it was actually kindly gifted to me by them this is a Soho three-in-one convertible crib I can turn it into a toddler bed once she gets a little bit older too and if you guys haven't already checked them out baby and me nursery specializes in high quality nursery and newborn essentials as well so any nursery furniture nursery essentials and accessories they have so many different cool options on there you can use the code HSC 10 to get yourself 10% off any of their furniture items or their essentials as well on the baby and me nursery site and I'm gonna make sure to leave them linked down below so you guys can go ahead and check them out next thing I wanted to recommend is a baby monitor surprisingly I haven't seen many people talk about this but there's different kind of baby monitors out there so the one that we ended up going with is just a camera monitor duo so I basically just angle it to Aaliyah's bassinet or wherever she is chilling if I need to go upstairs if I need to take a quick shower if I need to use the bathroom like right now I don't know if you guys can see Elan is right there in the corner he is feeding her it has a little stand that you can plop it on whenever you're doing your makeup or getting ready for the day if you just need something to keep an eye on her it does work with vision and with sound too so whenever she starts crying you can hear her through this as well this one is from Amazon as well really great battery life good screen quality can't recommend it enough this next item totally depends on whether you're planning on giving your baby a pacifier or not luckily she's very not dependent on them like she really sucks on them for a bit and then spits them out right before she falls asleep but with that it helps a lot like sometimes she just wants to suck on something to help her go to sleep and she falls asleep she pops it out I got these ones these are the Avent ones and I'm pretty sure they're the ones I usually get at the hospital they're not like the most aesthetic pacifiers but the reason I like these the most is that they mimic a nipple the most I feel like compared to other pacifiers and plus they're really cheap I think a pack of two is like three dollars so definitely check these out and then the last sleep must have is definitely a more pricey item but this is something that I didn't get for Aaliyah I got for myself but it was so useful in the newborn stage you guys and that's my Apple watch this is so great me and my husband both have one and the way that we actually use it that helped us so much especially in the beginning stages you can't just let a baby sleep however long she wants so we actually had to wake her up every three hours to give her proper feeding in the beginning hence the Apple watch you can literally set timers on your Apple watch so every single time I would wake up to feed her I would set a three hour timer from the time that I started feeding her and then I would keep my watch on while I sleep and I would make sure to put it on silent mode so when the alarm goes off in the next three hours it actually just slightly vibrates on my arm it wakes me up without startling Aaliyah without waking up my husband and I really feel like it made the whole process so much easier and definitely less of a challenge so moving on to everything to do with like eating and food for baby this may totally apply differently for all of you whether you're breastfeeding formula feeding or doing combination feeding like us so I would do a breastfeeding session formula feed breastfeeding session formula feed and honestly that method just really ended up working well for us to each their own obviously but I did want to talk to you about the formula that Aaliyah takes and she's never had any stomach issues with which is really great um, we've actually been using the Enfamil 0 to 12 month formula not much to say it's a really popular brand it's the only one we tried and she never had issues with it and I didn't want to try anything else because she was already so good with this. A baby product that makes the formula feedings so much easier is having a formula dispenser. This one specifically just has three slots so you can already pre-allocate how much formula you want for each feeding session. And then when you're groggy in the middle of the night and you're tired, you already have a pre-portioned one ready for you. So these super cheap and really handy make the experience a lot easier. The bottles that we actually use are the Playtex bottles. I feel like I like those the best because the nipple flow on them has probably been the slowest out of all the ones that we found. And with newborn babies you want to have a slow nipple for one you don't want them to choke because they're drinking too fast and two you still want the baby to get used to having to work and struggle a little bit with getting the food otherwise if you use a bottle with like a really fast nipple they may get used to the milk flowing into their mouth so quickly and easily that they're not going to want to go ahead and actually have to work for drinking from you if you're breastfeeding with nursing obviously a nursing pillow is one that is so convenient there's been a couple of times where I slept on my mom's and I didn't have my nursing pillow on me I just put a regular pillow underneath and the feeding session was not the same at all all. Aaliyah loves the nursing pillow and I do too. The type of nursing pillow I use is a boppy. It's really easy to just put on and off. Don't underestimate the nursing pillow. It makes it so much easier to nurse. It's so much more comfortable too. And I feel like it also provides you like the perfect amount of height so that when baby's eating, the flow is going correctly. And then the last thing that I've been loving and even more so Evan has been loving has been my rocking chair. It is actually the one that I'm using right now. This one is from the Baby and Me nursery website as well. I love it so much. I love the beige color. I love how plush and comforting it is. And 
it's just been great. Whether I have my breastfeeding pillow on and I'm like breastfeeding Aaliyah. But Aaron really likes it as well. Every time he does her formula feed, he would come in here at 3 a.m. in order not to bother me. And he just sits in this chair and he rocks her to sleep after he feeds her. And it's really the greatest thing. Everything to do with baby play. First thing I wanted to talk about is the Fisher Price swing. This specific swing right over here has been a lifesaver in so many different ways. The swing has music, it has a noise machine, it has a mobile that spins too. And even just as a place to like be able to put down your newborn and have free hands is so amazing. She loves looking at the mobile now that she can actually see it. It also has a nice little chrome mirror at the top so she like looks at herself and laughs at herself all the time. It's one of those things that keep her distracted especially when she has her wake windows. And then the other thing I've been showing you guys throughout the vlogs that you notice she loves is her little piano gym set situation. So I actually layered two on top of each other. The first one is this Love Every Play mat. It came with a couple different items. But I paired this Fisher Price mat right on top just to give her some more insulation at the bottom so she won't be cold. It has some nice hanging toys at the top. She always plays around with her little hands and it has a piano for her feet. Whenever she's kicking her little feet, it actually plays music. She keeps herself entertained for like a good hour on that thing sometimes. And I love seeing the progress of her using it. In the beginning, she would just stare at it at some point she would like maybe by accident hit one of the items and now she's like actively interacting and playing with all the little hanging objects and the piano so I really like it too it's not super expensive obviously I'm gonna link the best prices I can find for these items down below <laughs> Diapers guys, Huggies versus Pampers. It's like the ultimate question. I feel like every new mom goes to the store, looks at the Huggies, looks at the Pampers and is like, which one do I get? The Pampers did give her a little bit of like rash sensitivity. The reason as to why she was having the redness is that I feel like the Pampers diapers are actually scented. And the scent on one hand, it keeps the diaper from like smelling as bad as it would. But on the other hand, I didn't want my baby to have sensitivity. So we started off with the Pampers, then we transitioned into the Huggies. And with the Huggies, I didn't see any more redness. So again, in the newborn stage, I would recommend the Huggies just because they were unscented. She had no reactions to them. So that's my recommendation for you When it comes to giving her a bath, we actually only give her a bath once a week We're not living in a hot climate where she is constantly sweating one bath a week is perfect for her unless she has an obvious like Exploding diaper situation. I actually shower her in this little tub We fill it up make sure the temperature is all nice and she really really loves it Aaliyah is somebody that had major major skin sensitivity problems in the beginning There was a stage where like she had a ton of little red bumps and I didn't understand why now We just learned that she's very very sensitive to specific soaps. So like Johnson & Johnson didn't work for her. Even Aveeno didn't work for her. The one soap and lotion we're using right now that does not cause her any sensitivity is the CeraVe baby formulas. So the CeraVe baby wash and the baby lotion. Those are the ones that gave her no sensitivity. So I would really recommend them as well. I try to cut her nails after I give her a bath. I just use these like little scissors. They don't let you like cut too deep. I don't know how to explain it, but I've never injured her. I didn't cut her nails too much using these. They were only like four or five dollars too on Amazon. So definitely an amazing thing to have because her nails get so long and every two days I have to cut them. Probably the grossest item I'm gonna talk to you guys but one of the most important essentials that you need to have is the nose Farida. This is basically a boogie snot sucker. And while this may sound super, super gross, it is so convenient in the sense that baby nostrils are so tiny. They are so small. And sometimes you can literally hear your baby so congested. The way the nose Farida works is you actually just have like some salt water that you spray into her nose. This specific one is meant for infants. You just do a spritz on each side and then you put this right along her nostril and then you have you or your partner sucking out the snot from here. There is actually a filter on here already that stops it from going up into your mouth, but it's been amazing. I feel like it pulls out the congestion all the way from up here. It gets out all of her little boogies and she can have a nice peaceful relaxing sleep after. A couple other things that we notice help her with colic whenever she's fussy, whenever she's gassy or her belly hurts. Gripe water is really amazing. It looks just like water. We give her one teaspoon whenever we feel like she's gassy or her tummy hurts or she's colicky. I feel like it definitely helps calm her down. And I don't know if there's a correlation but almost every single time after we give it to her she has like a nice poop after. Vitamin D drops another thing especially if you're solely breastfeeding baby doesn't actually get enough vitamin D from breast milk alone. So definitely supplement with the vitamin D if you can. And last thing, there's a couple postpartum slash mommy things that I think are really, really great to have. First thing I want to talk about, the Peri bottle. If you're somebody who actually had a perineal tear, this makes the experience a lot easier. Every time after you pee or use the bathroom, you always need to go cleanse yourself. And the hospital just gives you like a regular spray bottle, but I actually love that this one has a head that is angled. It makes like the access so much easier. You go and you just spray yourself there. It cleans it up super easily. And otherwise, the last thing I wanted to mention that the Baby and Me Nursery website 
actually gifted me as well is the mommy bag. You guys, this, I, I didn't realize just how much I would love this thing. This is pretty much my hospital bag, but on top of being my hospital bag, it is now my mommy bag. I carry this every single time I go to my mom's overnight. It's not my actual diaper bag. My diaper bag is much smaller. It just fits so much stuff. It comes with like different compartments that you have like mommy treasures or you have baby essentials in here as well. I just feel like this has been so convenient to stay organized and just keep everything in one place. Put the diapers in here, the sound machine, her swaddles, her clothes, everything that we possibly need to take, this thing fits it. They have so many different styles on the website as well. This one is like in a specific teddy texture. I like it so much. I feel like it suits the nursery too, but it's been an amazing, amazing, amazing item to have. And honestly, even after your baby's grown, you can use this as a travel bag. It is so convenient. As you guys may know, this little tiny room is super, super small. There's not a lot of space for many things. That being said, I wanted to really make use of the space and just really have the things that we would need in here. So this is pretty much what the nursery is looking like. For the main wall over here, you guys can see all these little dots, which I'm so obsessed with. It looks like a wallpaper, but they're actually individual watercolor stickers. I love the way that they look so much. I just put them on myself. They really give a nice detailed texture to the entire room. On Facebook Marketplace, I actually found someone that was doing custom cutouts on wood. So I ordered one in Aaliyah's name and it actually came in like a blank unfinished wood and I went ahead and just stained it myself in this beautiful brown color. I just have a nice basic white crib. It has some like neutral wood detailing on the feet as well and for her mobile I found this one on Amazon which was so perfect. It had the wooden accents and these little pom-poms just match the wallpaper so well and this carpet right here is actually from rugs.ca. I love it so much. It is 100% wool. It has some nice beige colors and textures in it. So for the changing table this one is actually from Wayfair I have the diaper changing pad right on top and from Ikea as well We got the cloud lamps. These are the best thing to have at night whenever we want to put Aaliyah to sleep Just like a nice vibe here at night over on here because again, like I said this nursery is super super small We only really had space for a rocking chair and a little lamp and it just keeps the room like super super neutral But it still gives us a nice comfortable place to sit whenever we're feeding her or if we just want to rock her to sleep And then Aaliyah's closet as you guys can already see she has a huge collection of clothes already so many of them gifted from like family and friends. She hasn't fit into a lot of these just yet, but she's growing. Slowly we'll get there. All right, you guys, and that is it. That is everything that I have to share with you guys with my newborn essentials and a little look at Aaliyah's nursery. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. Please be sure to give it a really big thumbs up if you did. If you aren't already, be sure to go ahead and subscribe down below to join the amazing family. You can follow me on Instagram too if you aren't already to just see us on our daily everyday adventures. And again, if you want to check out any of these items, I'm going to link them down below for you guys to see. And with all that, I love you all so much. Thank you for watching, and I can't wait to see you in my next one. Bye!